Good evening and welcome to Timberborn, where we are going to start a brand new playthrough today with mods. It's going to be my very first modded playthrough and I have a few mods installed. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go with mods here. Let's have a look, see installed what I've got here. Uh, obviously, those are the two default ones that you have to kind of install and the API is a different one. But we have the Choo Choo Train mod. We have Path Extension. We have vertical power shafts and ladders, very, very, very useful. Simple triggers, which will allow us to um, control the flow of um, floodgates and things based on the uh, water height, so cool. Uh, and the rotating sun mod, which basically just stops the shadows moving with the camera, which is awesome. Uh, I am not opposed to installing more mods as time goes on. So if there are any that you recommend that we should have a go with, uh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I don't mind decorations or things. Mirror buildings I was tempted to install, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, well, I should probably install ferret wheel as well, but later. Later. I think right now, we're just going to give it a go. And we're going to play on a map that was downloaded via the mod manager as well. Um, and see how we can actually do. Because, well, it's going to be interesting. But let's go with the new game. I'm going to go with the Iron Teeth again. It's Dream Town Iron Teeth. I'm going to save the Pope Tales when I do my 24 hour playthrough, so we'll, we'll see there. And that's not a 24 hour play the game for 24 hours. Too old for that. That's a have them have the beavers work 24 hours a day. So, uh, okay. And we're going to play on a map down here called Shattered. And I will show you what this map does in a moment. Oh, uh, no, yes, it does work. I have tested it. It does work. We're going to play on the hard mode as well. And uh, begin. Okie dokie. So I'm going to go with. Modded. Okay, dokie. Put on. Pause the game here. And I'm going to bring up the cheat menu because I always do this. And every time I turn the sky fog off, I've explained this every time. Uh, simply because with it on, I think the game looks washed out. So, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to unlock the camera just for a moment, if I can remember where it is. Uh, right, that one is. Well, just so we can zoom out and actually have a look at this map. And you can see it's uh, very, very... Uh, it's very shattered. It's very shattered. Absolutely, positively, it's up to its name. And I thought this would be an awesome, an awesome style of map to play on. Because we need to do something to raise the water level in order to get the water level up to get these green so we can use crops and things on them. But also, with the mods we have, we have uh, extended bridges so we can get better bridges going over things so we can make things look a little bit nicer. And trains. My idea, kind of going to be with a single district we're going to have the one district and we're going to see if we can make that district control everything by using trains because trains not only have uh the training off the, the the stations for moving cargo they also have passenger stations and i think beavers are smart enough to know to use them to move so if the houses are over here and their workplaces over there they use a train which would be quicker than walking maybe we'll see how it goes so I'm not using mods, I don't know. That's my understanding of what I was looking at from them. So, so uh, we also have in our pathing here, we have uh, suspension bridges, which the, the old, they're the old style suspension bridges we had before. We have steel bridges, which are newer um, and obviously longer and made of iron. Uh, and we have tunnels, so we can tunnel through things. I don't think we're gonna be really be using any tunnels on this map. Uh, not really if i'm honest with you so probably not uh but yeah we have the option we have the option to do it uh so yeah okay so let's get going and see what we can do we need to absolutely positively get over here and get some food and some water stored now water is going to be interesting because we need to dam off here here and here like really early to keep water. We might not even bother. We might just have the first drag on there. But we are playing hard mode, so this is going to be a bit more difficult than you know, a bit more difficult than just a. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's do this. There you go. It's convenient. Uh, uh, and there is not a pathway down there. Okay. Okay. So uh, we can also get up here as well. Okay, that's okay. Right. 
I'll do that just so that when if the berries grow, we, we've actually um uh if you put a path in the berries cannot grow on a path. So that will just hit, stop that. So okay, okay, let's get um lumberjack flag in there to chop down the trees here. Let's get one in here to chop down the trees over here. Get one over here as well. Let's get a gathering flag going over here somewhere. To gather ourselves some berries. Uh, which we do need. We do need berries. We are playing the Iron Teeth. They will need berries in order to have their people do things. So how about we chop that off there and we go there. We go. There's our berry island. But um Awesome. Although we would then have to figure out water for it. Uh, maybe we'll do berry island over here actually because this will be where it starts. But whatever. Food. Food early on. That's good. Um, we just need water. Let's have a deep water pump and I'm going to put it in there. Yeah, that is good. Dum -dum 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 -dum. And I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. We could do the water storage. Absolutely a water storage early on. And we could do the farm very early if possible as well. So let's put a farm in here and let's just plant kohlrabi in all this area here. We also want to make sure we uh, are chopping down trees. So let's do this and that and that. Okay, I also want to chop down the trees over here. You you can reach them. Okay, I'm going to say don't chop down trees there yet. About to chop down trees here first. Okay, get rid of those because we're going to plant coal rabbi here. This is as far as we can. Oh, we can reach all the way. Okay. Okay. Good. Oops. Rabbi. Not over there. Not over there. No, no, no. All over this place. All over this place. Like this. There you go. But on. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, that should be good to go. Let's up the amount of beavers in here. And I think I might pause. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go. So, hold on. Uh, let's prioritize this one. Because we're going to need food early. And let's prioritize this one. Because we're going to need water going on early. Uh, so, uh, here we have our systems for the simple timers. So, we can have them set to a basic one. So, pause when the drought starts. Um, unpause when, when drought starts. Pause when drought ends. Unpause when drought ends. So, we could tick that and tick that. And then this will automatically be paused when the drought comes along. And then unpause when it doesn't. Very useful. If you have your pump in a reservoir that you don't want to empty completely out. So we kind of do, but I don't want to do that yet. Not for the first one. You have it set to a timer on a schedule. So it can start in time, you know, during the day. You can turn it on and off. Um, uh, and you could also have it attached to stream gauges. So you could have it run until a water level gets to a certain height and then turn off. So again, you could put it in here and have it pump out two layers of water. And then when it gets to the lowest layer, you could go, nope, stop. Don't pump anymore. Because uh we're gonna need we're gonna need more, so we're gonna um don't don't pump anymore because we're gonna need we're gonna need the water. Um, I also wanna up this as a construction site as well. So yeah. Okay. Oh kid okay. Uh we do wanna try and dam off this area like really quickly if possible. Even get it's getting like one level of dam in on each place would be really useful oh this is actually an input ah okay so we could dam over here uh, i can do one level here and i can do one level here but i can't do it here because we can't get down to it so for instance i couldn't dam this here because there's no way for us to get down to it until to get some stairs going in there because there's no stairs there if there was it would be fine but there isn't so um I don't really know. We can't dam off this area over here until we get enough science to unlock levees, which means we're definitely going to be running out of water soon. Sooner rather than later. I suppose we could trap some water in places. 
can build a levees there and a levees there. The trap water in this area here. Probably not a terrible idea. Let's give that a try. Let's do that. And what I have to do is... Um, run a path up till the builders can reach it. There we go. Boom. And then we'll put a levee east like here as well. And then hopefully that will hold water for us. I don't know whether it will or not, because obviously the first drought's going to come along pretty sharpest, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, you want to be a high priority workplace. You want to be a high priority workplace. And you want to be a high priority workplace. Okay. Yeah. We also need to probably get some breeding going early, don't we? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get two of them going like that. Okay, so let's let them build as our first day comes to an end. And uh, we'll be back. I love the shadows. I love when the shadows move with the sun. It looks so much better. It looks so much better. We'll be back once uh, we can get these built here. So, uh, straight away, mistakes have been made. Uh, I thought the water was high enough to flow through these, even with, but it's, it's not. It's not. So we need to dam off all three of these at once, which I can't do. I can't get over here to do this, this side. So we're not going to be able to do that. We won't be able to do that. We're going we're gonna, to, we're going to have to deal with the, at least the first round. Before, but um, yeah, before we can dam off anything, we're going to have to deal with the first round. So what we'll do instead is I'm going to put in a um, dam here and a dam here because we can reach those from the top. Those will hold a little bit of water in these ones here, Oops. which means that at least some areas will still be green. I don't think the food will be, but that's okay. That's okay. And what we can also do, oh, if you'll excuse me, uh, we can uh, also. We put a dam off here and here. Then open that and then reseal that when the drought comes. We'll hold some water in here. Just try and keep our crops alive for the first season. Not ideal, but that's the way it's going to go. Well, let's destroy that. Let's uh, do this here. I have some logs here because I started building a, another let, um, dam there thinking, oh yeah, we can block this off. That didn't work. That didn't work. But that's okay. That is okay. Okay, we'll let the water flow in again. Food has been done, so I need to unpause this again here. I paused that because we wanted to uh, get some uh, some beavers doing the trees. So now we need Kohlrabi. So let's build these other pieces first and see these other pieces of dams here first and then see when the drought comes along. If we can not get the, all the logs here, but pause it. And then the day the drought starts, we'll be able to uh, unpause it and uh, trap some water in here, at least temporarily. And it is the final night before the drought uh, begins, so now I'm going to unpause this. It's got all these logs, and I just paused it. Um, you can, if you, when they deliver the final product, they finish the construction bar. If you pause it during that time, then all that happens, all that has to happen is a beaver has to come out, high priority, and uh, finish it. So now the drought started, you will come out and bump, and there you go, and now all that water is trapped in there. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, I should have actually done that the day before, I've just realised, because the drought actually um, begins, the, the water source starts dropping off from, uh, it's, um, it starts from 100% and it starts lowering during the night, so... I should have done that earlier than that, realistically, because I don't think that water's going to last there. Six day drought for our very first one. Okay, okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. So let's mark these trees now because we've done all the stuff the other side. But dum, there you go. Uh, you're going to chop those down and then go and chop these down here, which would be excellent. Our berries would write in ten days, so we're okay. Berries are going to be fine for this go. I've also decided to uh, stop planting here. 
so that I could get some more farms in because I remembered from the last playthrough that um kohlrabi is terrible it's it's a it's it, it's a good crop to start with um it's not fantastic but uh um the farmhouses what I should say are terrible they're really really slow so I'm gonna have two set to harvesting and one set to planting um, and have them all set to kohlrabi and hopefully they will be able to take over and deal with all this and we get more food in because uh, I mean food's not so bad at the moment we, I think we're yeah we're, we're kind of filling that up there so yeah okay uh, also this doesn't work this doesn't work here this water that's trapped in here um, this doesn't pop up high enough to fill that in there I guess the water level drops again somewhere although that's the same level oh yeah it drops again there so in order to get these to fill I would have to seal off this with the dam and seal off this with the dam and then that would keep the water level high enough to flood back into here so okay okay maybe even this one down here this map is going to be a little more challenging than I thought um mainly because of all the little nooks and crannies with water uh, and not having stairs down here is a problem it's definitely a problem so how do you combat not having stairs well you research stairs and that's what we're going to do i'm going to research stairs i'm going to put in a science and a science and connect those up like that and um, and i think i'm going to possibly turn down the district um yeah, the water's already dried up. So this, yeah, this, this did not work. This did not work at all the way I wanted it to. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, I might turn down the uh, the district um, and get and get some science going. But it's gonna be, it's gonna definitely be touch and go. So let's let's speed up time. Let's get through our five day drought. We should be okay because you should be able to harvest at least some more of these in a couple of days. And we got some berries to go. Um, these can be harvested, so that's okay. Um, but I really need to dam up over here and over here. So we need stairs. I need stairs to get down here or down here, at the very least, to get across so I can dam this off. And then once we can do that, it should be okay. These do create a invisible wall quite high, so you don't have to worry about blocking off anything. This should fill up quite easily to the top edge. Um, the uh, the water sources. Yeah, they, they will prefer to pour onto the map than off of the map, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, um... We're out of water. We have four days left. This is definitely going to be touch and go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so it's the final night of the drought. And our beavers are not on the edge of dying, which is which is nice, which is nice. I think they've got like another, maybe another um, uh, in them before they drown. So just like but drowned? No, the, the exact opposite of drowning. Uh, another day in them before they uh, die of thirst. That's the word. Dehydration. Dehydration. Okay. So done a few things. One, uh, the deep water pump. I have set the timer up here so i'm just going to see check this works so the drought should start again as soon as daylight comes the, the drought should end as soon as uh, the sun comes up get my my things right that would help oh and there you go that are automatically unpaused awesome 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 okay i'm also going to destroy these two boom, boom, because i want water to pour into these gaps here again and what we're going to do is store vast quantities of more water. Uh, because, yeah, <laughs> we, we need, we need vast quantities of more water. So I'm going to put like water tanks in all over the place like this and see how it goes. Um, we let the water come back and then not the first day of the drought, but the second day of the drought, we'll turn the farms back on again. Um, because I still want to get take some science over so that we can try and get some science and actually try and get some things going that would be nice uh, probably could do with another pump as well not gonna lie that's probably going to be helpful 
So let's do that. Filling these is going to be more more important than a. That would be nice with this tree in the way. Um, let's put it over here. In fact, do you know what? I might put both pump, two pumps over here. Like this. With a water container in between them. Because, well, that's not a water container. That one is. Well, there you go. Uh, store water. And you're going to be on the same deal as the others. And um, boom, 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 like that. You are all going to be set to store water. Oh, do I wish there was a copy tool? Oh, do I wish there was a copy tool? Um, although you can do this easier if you go into the build menu here um, to... Uh, is it workplace? No, uh, storages here, um, and you can just here. You can tick and choose what you want to do. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So yeah, um, you can you can you can choose in there what you want to do with them. So that that's probably easier um, if you know what they are. But then when you come to this one here, you can you can easily click on uh, the this and it takes you to them. So you'd be like, ah, oh, that one should be this one. That one should be this one. That should, so yeah, but it'd be nice to just have a a copy function. A, a, a bump and then paste, 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 and it pastes with the uh, whatever you want. So you copy this one, and when you paste it, it automatically fills with water. You automatically know it wants water. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So the water has returned, which is awesome, um, and everything is fantastic and wonderful, and hopefully we should be good for doing things. So I want to unlock the stairs, but I can't unlock the stairs yet because I need to get ourselves a lumber mill and a water wheel a, a power wheel going so let's do that let's get ourselves an industrial lumber mill um, and i'm going to slap it right there and we're going to get ourselves a uh, power wheel slap it right there boom like that and we'll build those we'll build these we'll build everything we'll get some planks going and then we'll get ourselves some There's unlocked. I think that's the idea. That's going to be the idea. Okie dokie. So what we'll do is we shall leave this one here. This is a lesson in how to not start a beaver colony. Okay? Don't do what I've done and uh, get things terribly wrong because it's really bad for your beavers. They don't like being dehydrated. Also, remember to turn your farms back on again after you turn them off because otherwise you won't get any... Um, Uh, food and and you and the beavers need food. Food food's important, just as important as water. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully these pumps can keep up and keep our beavers alive for at least a little bit, and we'll take it from there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one where I hope we'll have some beavers still alive. There's a lot of hoping going on. But until then, as always, have fun.